Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this true doctrine across the four winds of the earth in all truth and in sincerity. I'm Lamar Ariya from the Mississippi Camp. Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. And this is um, somewhat of a a continuation of the sit down, the brothers, as well as myself, some of the brothers here in the Mississippi Camp. Uh, we do our Monday sit down lesson. And um, we had went into, or the title was, The Patience and the Faith of the Saints. And a few more scriptures come to mind, and uh, I just kind of wanted to go through them because just expounding again on how important it is to have faith, man, and to pray for more faith and, 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 and keep the faith, you know, because faith is, is, is something that we truly have to believe in, man, when it comes to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the prophecy that's coming to pass, the promises that have been made in the kingdom of heaven that's coming. We have to believe that, man, and, and, and have faith that these things are going to happen as it is written. Again, the uh, faith to the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we, we, we don't see the kingdom of heaven, all right? We don't physically see Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, but but we, the Lord said he was going to leave us the comforter, man. And, and these scriptures comforts us, especially in these times. It should even more by reading scriptures, reading prophecies, standing upon our watch and seeing these things transpire, seeing these things happen, seeing these things come to pass. You know, it should build our faith. And if the faith, if you, if you, if your faith seems to be getting weak, pray to your how about Shimmy Shai to increase your faith. You know, because we we all need gonna need our faith increase our faith increased, okay, in the times to come. Because some of the things that are gonna be happening, you know, it's gonna be so crazy. You know, but the Lord said, pray without ceasing. All right. So, hey, speaking to myself first and foremost, pray. I'm gonna pray for more faith, man. Pray for more endurance, you know, and, 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 and our the Lord will strengthen the brothers and increase our faith as we continue to go through this uh, journey, you know, but we almost up out of here. But I just want to get a few scriptures and then I'm going to close it out because it's like a, just those points of faith that I want to bring out. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 7. We'll start at verse 6. But without faith, because the key word is going to be faith in these uh, three scriptures I'm going to bring up. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. To please who? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Because if you don't have faith, you're not truly believing the words of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, faithful and true. Okay? For he that comes to the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay. Verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of the most high, of the things that not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to, to the saving of his house by the, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith so here we go again by faith Noah right he started building the ark okay and the prophecies that was going to come to pass things he hadn't seen haven't happened because but because of his faith and the fear he had of Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai he started building the ark he started doing what he was uh, uh, decreed to do right He didn't see the rain yet, okay? He didn't see particular things happening, 
but he was still prophesying and warning the people about uh, uh, the judgment of the Lord, as well as building that ark. Because what he knew and believed and had faith that the Lord was going to bring forth this great flood. But it was all in his faith and his fear. And, and the scripture goes into the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So Noah was a wise man to take heed to the Lord uh, 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 order to what he needs to do. Okay. But again, the key word in that passage bringing it out is faith. Okay. By faith, Noah did these things. Okay. Verse 8, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for inheritance, obeyed and he went out, not knowing whether he went. So Abraham, by faith, okay, Regarding the reward that he was going to receive, the inheritance he was going to receive, though he didn't know where he was going, he went. He stepped out on faith. Okay? Because he believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay? He believed in what the Heavenly Father had said. Okay? What, had he had, what the Heavenly Father ordered him to do. He stepped out on faith because he believed. Verse 9. By faith. He sojourned in the land of, of, of promise and in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. The point is faith. That these men moved by faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They moved by faith though they couldn't see particular things happening. They stepped out on faith. Because they believe. And in order to have faith, you have to believe. Okay? Even if you don't see particular things. And that's how we move. We was heard this word. Okay? Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shai. It's the Lord, you know what I'm saying? It, it, the word of Yahweh Shai resonated with us. Okay? And, and we start gravitating to this truth. And we start going to the camps listening. And then the Lord blessed us to be able to cross over into the camps. Then we start maybe holding signs, holding posts, okay? Bringing out, uh, uh, start being a reader. May gravitate it, and, and uh, the Lord gave you an increase to be a teacher, okay? This is all about the spirit and the power you have by Shimei Shah, and you keep pushing and doing these things because you have faith in the word of the Lord. You have faith in Yahweh by Shimei Shah, so therefore, you keep pushing. You keep doing the work. You keep hasting the return of your house shot. Because you believe these things are going to happen according to the scriptures. Okay? And you have faith because of the things that are happening. The 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 the, the things you see transpire, the, the prophecies you come to pass, the prophecies that are happening. Okay? You relate them back to the scriptures and you see these things happen, so it it, it builds up your faith. In in, in, in in faith is going to is going to be and has always been a very important factor in this truth. Because if you don't believe, okay, as the scriptures say in James, you know, uh if, if a man say he have faith without works, show me thy faith without works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Okay? Roughly paraphrase. So if you believe and have faith, truly have faith. Your actions are going to be applied. You're going to be teaching. You're going to be preaching. You're going to be doing videos. You're going to be turning away from wickedness. You're going to start walking in righteousness to the best of your ability. You're going to stop celebrating pagan holidays, committing adultery, worshiping false idols, uh, uh, so on and so forth. You're going to be uh, uh, renewed. You're going to become a new man, a new creature. Okay? And that's all by the gift of of faith given by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So let me get another scripture. Uh, 
This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promise. I'm going to read that in NLT. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 in the NLT. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. Okay? For the Most High can be trusted to keep his promise. So we have to have faith, man, and believe that the Lord's words, again, are faithful and true. The Lord is not a man that he can lie. Okay? If he have said it, will he not make it good? Okay, these scriptures are, 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 are um, confirmations that the Lord is not going to, uh, his word is not going to return unto him void, man. And that comes to the promises as well as the judgment and destruction. Okay? What he have said, he's going to do it. But faith and belief and, 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 and continually uh, being a servant, how about Shemiah Abshah, will distinguish whether you're going to be under that umbrella of, of protection, deliverance, uh, salvation, or under that umbrella of uh, lamentation, uh, 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 woe, okay, destruction, sorrow, the wrath of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. Okay? So faith, man, is 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 truly is truly an important factor when it comes to this truth, man. Again, in the book of James, faith without works is dead, man. Faith brings forth action. Okay? All right, this, uh, let me get this one. I'm going to close it out. Because, you know, th this this pretty much is how we want to be able to end this, 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 uh, this walk of faith, man. This is the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. And you know, a lot of men will not finish their course because they took their hand off the plow. They went back into the world for whatever reason, whether it was their, you know, truly their incredulity. Okay, they really didn't believe. All right. They uh fell out over a woman, a job, you know, whatever. Okay. They did not finish their course. They stopped in the in, in the midst of, of the race, man. Okay? I have kept the faith. And that's what it's about, man. Finishing our course, keeping our faith. Okay? Keep fighting the good fight. Okay? That way, you know, we will find, Lord willing, we will be found worthy, you know, to be a part of the Lord's elect. That first fruit, 144,000, that governing body. But again, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And that's all what it's about, man. Keeping the faith. Keep believing. You know, and, and just be steadfast and unmovable. And know that what? That he is. And the Lord is going to deliver, man. He's going to deliver. We just got to patiently wait. The patience and the faith of the saints. So Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honor, top apostles and elders, a great millstone, everywhere. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.